This is a thousand dollars in cash. And if you suddenly came across this kind of money, no strings attached, what would you spend it on? They are put on display so that we can choose the clothing we need and want. Well, for hundreds of thousands of people in rural Uganda, this money would be used differently. Most of these people live off of as little as one or two dollars a day, meaning getting an education, starting a business, receiving adequate health care, or even electricity is nearly impossible. So I guess the solution is simple, right? Why don't we just give them the money? But on second thought, giving thousands of dollars to people who have never experienced that kind of money before is extremely irresponsible. So when an organization reached out to us to help them do just that, we knew we had to fly over and find out more. Uganda is a beautiful country and is filled with some incredible people. But when I first got approached by Give Directly about this program, my initial reaction was this was a terrible idea. I thought that giving an entire year's worth of income to people that were living in extreme poverty sounded like it was a recipe for disaster. Give Directly uses a strict selection process to identify villages most in need and signs up every single family. They then provide the recipients with a mobile phone and they create a unique PIN number. The money is then sent to their SIM card so they can transact directly or go to a nearby outlet and use their PIN to withdraw cash from a mobile money agent. The limited work opportunities in the community has made it extremely difficult for the villagers to support their families. One of these people is Paul. I have a wife, two kids. This is why I'm staying. My family is eating a day once. That's what we eat once. Supper time. Those are the challenges we are facing. If Paul had more money, he would not only invest in starting a business in the area, but also ensure that he and his kids can get a proper education. My aim is to, to get that, that certificate of Singapore. Maybe that life, my life somehow improving from that part. People living in extreme poverty are very limited. Most of their day is taken up by menial tasks and they cannot break themselves out of the cycle of poverty that they're stuck into. A year ago, this was the reality for Tian and Lokura. The kids had dropped out of school and finding work in the area was extremely difficult for them. But after receiving a donation from Give Directly, their lives changed entirely. They used the money to buy land in the area and have now started cultivating their own crops. They also bought a grain mill and are now processing grain for the entire community and earning a small profit. They are now using those profits to open up a store in their house. And on top of that, Lokere has now started a refueling station in the village. This is a great example of what this program does because it fuels an economy that allows them to build businesses. But still somewhat skeptical about the idea of direct cash, we want to better understand the benefits this would have over more traditional forms of assistance. So we met with Silvesto, a local Give Directly field officer. I'm from this community working in Karamoja. I've grown up here and I was born here. Personally, my story, when I was growing up, I was in school. So it happened that when I reached secondary education, my parents couldn't get money to pay for me going forward. So they had to sell our home for me to go to school. And to me, that is like selling my dreams, to selling my experiences. And that poverty is the most difficult poverty, the poverty of dreams. When I joined Give Directly, I realized that it's really different, a lot different from the charities I have worked with before. Give Directly, we give cash. When cash goes to a community, even business in that community is boosted. This cash enables them to go for their needs, to pursue them. People are stuck in poverty, not because of lack of effort or lack of capability. They are stuck in poverty because of lack of opportunity. One of these people is Joseph, the chief of the village. Some people are owning their land very far. So you need this also to get some money. And you go and get a land somewhere or you buy. Then these grass houses, the termites also can eat the grass very fast. It cannot last for long. And again, next year, the same thing. You destroy, then you make him repair, you repair, you repair. But housing is only one of the many problems the village faces. Hunger, poverty, and lack of education are serious setbacks for the entire community. In addition to the burden of leading his village, Joseph suffers from serious health complications. A few years ago, he had a stroke, which left him debilitated. And because he has no money, he's unable to buy the medicine he needs to remain stable. 
The living is really very hard. I don't know whether I can survive, I don't know really, because now a stroke is a difficult disease. Whatever, I don't know. Everybody here has their own unique needs. And what we've realized is that the best way to help these people move towards a better future is by empowering them to make the best decision for themselves and their families. So we have decided to commit to helping Give Directly provide cash grants to 300 families in this village and surrounding areas that will help them build their future. So while the Give Directly team finalized the recipient distribution process, which would take all day, Dan and Darren explored some more of the village, where they came across two knife sharpeners. Do you think we'll do this better? I oh, know, good better. Yeah, boy, you got it. Now for the ultimate test. They bring us a chicken. No, no, they won't bring us a chicken. <laughs> we got a crowd gathered behind. We're going to see who did a better job sharpening the knife. If we roll the footage back, you'll clearly see that someone was assisting Darren sharpening his knife while I was doing the hard work. This is a professional doing it. Yeah. Okay. And now it was Dan and Darren's turn. Hey, champion. Yeah, yeah, you're the champion. Yes. Not wanting to accept defeat, Darren wanted to redeem himself. Throughout Africa, it's typical for people to carry their stuff on top of their heads. Dan and I are going to try to do this. Oh, my. Oh. Wait. No, no, wait. Are you got. It's your hands off of it. Yeah. How are you doing it? Okay. You ready? I won. No way. Okay. Darren won that one, but he's back. How are you doing that? Early the next morning, it was time for the distribution. It's all come down to this moment. All of the money is going to be transmitted in about 10 minutes. These people are finally being given an opportunity to escape the poverty that they've had to fight their entire lives. But out of everyone in the village, Joseph was the most anxious. He knew just how life-changing this grant would be for him and his family. This was the moment they had been waiting for and the entire community started to get nervous and excited. such a transformational moment in so many lives. This is opportunity not just for these people, but for their children and the generations that follow. Together with Give Directly, we have been able to change the lives of thousands of people in this village. After getting the text message, it was time for the recipients to cash out the money. For hundreds of years going back, these people have not had opportunity, but now moving forward, they have opportunity. A whole chain in history twisted. And they can now build a stronger future, not just for themselves, but for the generations that follow. And some of them have already started putting it to good use, like Ruth. Ruth is a powerful example of what this money is able to manifest. Before I received this money of Give Direct, I had children of which I was not able to help. I could not afford even medication. I was just a housewife, so life was hard. But despite the odds, Ruth was determined to pursue her dreams with the aid from Give Directly. She was given the opportunity to turn those dreams into reality and set herself and her children on the pathway to a brighter future. 
she is now able to use her entrepreneurial spirit and drive to improve herself, which will in turn improve her community as well. I am able to get up for my family needs. And right now, life is just simple. It's not like the very way that I lived before. But Ruth isn't the only one who put her money into starting something amazing. Mirayuma, a woman who has dedicated her life to education. After years of grueling work and saving every penny, she finally had enough money to buy land. And with the help of the payments from Give Directly, she was able to build classrooms, toilets, and even hire seven teachers. And today, this school has an attendance of more than 200 children. The money was also used in a much needed pharmacy in the community, help pay for school fees and uniforms for thousands of children, and even build homes for hundreds of families. And these are only a very few examples of how this money was spent. When these people are given the smallest opportunity, they seize it and they jump on it right away, knowing that they now have an opportunity that they never had before is probably one of the most inspiring and motivating things that I've ever experienced in my life. To round off the trip, Darren visited one more school, which with Give Directly's contribution was able to go from 650 students to over 980 in one week because their parents could now pay school fees and buy uniforms. You can hear the thunder right behind me. It had actually just started raining, but as soon as the children started singing, the clouds cleared and it's bright over here. That was quite an amazing experience. Give directly proved our initial skepticism was unfounded and that there are so many new ideas for us to consider for how we can all build a brighter future together. But there's plenty more need, so we're teaming up with Give Directly to deliver cash to another village just a mile away. If you want to help, click the donate button or go to givedirectly.org so we can help more Ugandans in need together. Subscribe!